Canastas de Mimbre, the Spanish word for wicker baskets. What a cool place. I think I've loved about Chile. Here in Chile, I don't think I would ever have this opportunity. <laughs> There's just so much pan de pascua. Right here, you wind up this string. And good morning, and welcome to another beautiful day here in Chile. Today we're in a special place, we're on our way to Santiago, but we're here in Chimbarongo, and this is a place where you can find all of these wicker baskets. I mean, if you wanna buy real good souvenirs to bring back home or give to family, this is the place to do it. They have different smaller things that you can bring back in, in your suitcases and, and your carry-on things. And then you have bigger things that we're trying to find for a Moses toy bin right now. Super exciting. Elise has always wanted to stop here and now we finally get to stop here. It's uh, whew, pretty awesome. <laughs> So honestly, this experience to go and get wicker baskets has been on Elise and I's bucket list for a really, really long time. We've always wanted to stop there and it was impossible for a really long time because we didn't have a car. Without a car, you can't really stop there. You wanna get to the place that you're really trying to go to. But this time we had a car, we own a car, that just changes life. It's so nice to have a car. But also, we got to stop there and check out all the wicker things. They do this by hand in a place called Chimbarongo, and it's just one of the coolest places on the way to Santiago. It's between Curicó and Santiago, just past Curicó, just north of there. And it's such a cool place you have to stop at. So, we stopped there, Moses got uh, a little broom, which he's super, super excited about. He's always wanted one. I don't know why we didn't get it. It was only 2,000 pesos, and it's worth every, uh, every peso, I guess. And he loves it though. He sweeps everything all over the place, just like I did when I was a kid too. Not so much anymore, but it's so cool. Elise and I also got this big bin for Moses's toys and uh, it's much cheaper than doing it a different way or getting it from a, a big place or a, a big store that you can find here. You can find bins, you can find all that stuff, but one, it's cheaper to do it this way, and two, you give back to people who are actually doing it by hand. I mean, this is like a labor of love to learn how to do this and do the wicker stuff, and then to go out and, and sell it on the side of the road during a pandemic now, which I don't know how much traffic is going by there, although I will say February still had a lot of traffic. It was crazy, but at the same time, that's such a cool job to sit there and make wicker things, baskets. There are tons of different wicker things that you can buy there. And we were just blown away by the people that were there who were so kind to us and helped us with what we needed. And we've stopped on the way coming back to Linares, but never the way going to Santiago. So we stopped that way this time and uh, it's just a lot bigger and there are a lot more places to stop there. Really, really cool. But also along the Ruta Cinco, there's other places that you can stop as well. There are people that do wood things by hand as well. So like wooden chairs and anything that you can think of, like wooden tables, all that kind of stuff they do as well. We've never stopped there, but that's definitely the next thing on the bucket list now of places we have to stop at. So Elise growing up in Antigua, she loves the wicker stuff. And so I think we're going to uh, definitely be investing in more wicker things in the future. But I wanted to say huge thank you as well for all of the incredible comments that you guys have given to me. And I want to hear what you guys think about Chimbarongo. Have you stopped there before? Or is it just a place that you've always passed along the way going back to Santiago or going down south? Maybe you've never even heard of it. You see the entrance to Chimbarongo and there's this cool little fountain and it kind of looks like a, a cool statue that is the, the wicker, I think. 
and uh, it's really, really beautiful and what a cool place to stop at. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that and leave some comments of other places that we should stop at along the Ruta Cinco. There's so many of them that I, uh, I really wanna know where I should stop because we're always looking for a place to go to the bathroom for Moses, myself, and uh, let us know what you think. Anyways, hope that you enjoyed this video for today. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up. Check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. All those links are right below. And uh, from here in my backyard at uh, 10 o'clock at night, I hope that you uh, are having a great day and we'll see you guys next time for another adventure. But for now, chop and scout. It poses. Whoa. 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 Whoa.